Well, Derek, this was a, a big win for you, especially, you know, having to dig deep to get it done. How does it feel to, uh, to pick up a win like that in the third round? Um, I just, my typical self being myself, you know, that's just, I don't know why, but that's just the way down there all my fights play out. You know, I'm, I'm the underdog. <clears throat> I come back and show nothing but heart, you know, just about each and every fight. That's, that's just the way it is, you know. I'm sure my fans know by now. Even though I might be getting my ass whooped the first two rounds or what, but you know that beat's about to come out sooner or later. You had him hurt early on. Did you think you had it finished in the first round? Yeah, I did, but I didn't want to um, gas myself out like you know who. But you know, I just wanted to keep going in the later on rounds. How did you feel in the third round? So you kind of pacing yourself was real important this time. I know you said you'd worked on your cardio. Did Mm -hmm. I mean? Did it feel different for you this time around? Um, In the third round, I wasn't tired at all. It was shocking. Damn near the third round, my ass is gas. But this fight right here, I I really wasn't tired in the third round. You know, I still felt like I could still throw heat. I was just waiting. My coaches, I told them there before the fight even started, they already knew around what time I'm gonna really turn it on. And I mean, now, you know, you're talking about being number one in the world. You're talking about getting to the title. I mean, talk about kind of where your mindset has changed. Because at the first, it's kind of always just been about money or it's just been about, you know, just doing this. But now you're talking about, you know, world titles. What's, what's changed? It's still about the money. But I heard they, they give them people 500000 just to fight for a world title. So, you know, the boy had to step his game up. <laughs> I guess you're not worried about, uh, not worried about keeping the, the, uh, the two-pack much longer. You're going to? Oh, the two-pack was going yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> When you see the opening in the third round, I mean, it, it, it came all of a sudden. Yeah, but that's just the way I fight, you know. I don't know why, but that's, I don't know. It's just like a certain switch that turns on mm-hmm. inside of my head. be like, okay, you gave me your best shot, okay, now it's my turn. Well, your wife doesn't like the Rousey talk. Is she okay with the going deep talk on the? <laughs> you like going deep? You like the going deep talk? See, all thumbs up. I'm all going. So, that's my soulmate. You know, soulmate I'm about to go down. So, yeah, I'm going to try to rest up a little bit so I can. Run with the full round with her. You know, knock it out the box. Been a lot of talk about your back and, you know, overcoming that injury, how did it feel? Oh, my back was good, you know. Um, my main focus was just worrying about my, my condition and not gassing out. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my back was 100%, you know, the magnesium, um, the doctors out there in um, Edge, um, they really been like, keeping up with that and making sure I'm staying healthy for the whole camp, so I, I appreciate them for that. You, you mentioned some names, how soon do you want to fight again? Um. I think my hand is broken right now. But hopefully I could get Francis, Curtis Blaze, Bordeaux, um, Kane, any anybody that's really in front of me, really anybody. Whoever signed the contract first, that's who I'm willing to fight. Hello, Fight fans. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters, including coverage from events with post-fight press conferences and open workout media scrums. And if you like this video, check out this other video to my right.